Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are going to be going from dreadlocks or locks to uh, a silk press. So yeah, this is my little sister, by the way. She's had her locks in for about two years and my mom knew that she didn't want her locks anymore, but she didn't know what to do. She was going to cut all her locks off. And I'm like, no, we're not going to cut the locks off. We're just going to comb them out. So fun fact, you are able to comb out uh, your locks. Um, it depends on the size and width. But you can definitely comb out your locks instead of chopping them all off. Um, it is a tedious thing to do, but it's possible. Right, so these are just the tools that I used. I felt like they helped me a whole lot. So I used a comb that was sharp enough to go with inside of the dreadlock, but also wide enough so that I'm not ripping out her hair. Your clips are going to be used to section off the hair and the water bottle is going to be used to help easily comb, comb through the locks and soften it up. All right, so we're going to take a section of her locks and we're just going to clip that to the side with our clip. And then we're going to literally just grab a lock and just start combing. You're going to work. You're going to start at the ends of the locks and then you're going to work your way up with the comb. So notice that I'm making sure I stick the pointy part into the lock, right? And then I'm just combing it out gently, a little bit at a time. So you don't want to start at the top and then try to comb your way down because you're either going to be breaking teeth off of your comb or you're just going to be like, it's just going to be the struggle. You're probably going to be ripping out the locks. So just start at the bottom and work your way up. Use your water bottle to soften it up and to um, detangle the hair up a little bit. And then once you finally take that lock out, you just want to make sure that the hair is detangled from the um, ends all the way to the roots. So you just use the water bottle as a tool to soften up the hair. And you're just going to make sure that it is fully detangled so that when you go into your washing process, it's not as hard to wash the hair. So when you're taking out locks, you're just going to be repeating the same process over and over again with the next locks. So remember, when taking out locks, start from the ends and work your way up to the roots. Detangle using water as a tool so that it can soften up your hair. And remember to just take your time and be gentle. All right, so now that I have her hair out, I'm just examining it and seeing where it's at. And although we just combed all of her locks out, I'm noticing that where she's at is where a lot of you are at with your natural hair care journey. A lot of you are natural, not chemically processed, just like how she was with her locks. A lot of you, um, you may not have all of the characteristics that she has with her hair now that it's combed out, but you may have some, which is dry hair, not washing your hair frequently enough, not receiving enough moisture, not receiving enough hydration. And with these next steps, I'm just going to show you what you can do at home to be able to revive your hair, but you would need to do it on a daily hair care routine or within a regimen. So yeah, Although she combed out her locks, I wanted to just compare her combed out locks to a lot of people's um, natural hair and the state that their natural hair is already in. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is wash her. Everything happens and starts at the shampoo bowl. You will always see exactly what you need when you go to wash your hair. So, for example, her hair, we just took her hair out of locks. She just had dirt, debris, buildup all in her locks. Um, her hair is very, very dry. Um, it's lacking moisture. It's lacking hydration. So, at the time, I was using um, the Kenra Professionals Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner line. Now today I will use the Influence Hair Care line. I do sell that within my salon suite and I have it listed on my website. I'll definitely put some information in the description box below so that you can check them out. But in this video I use the Kenra Moisturizing Shampoo. So remember, the shampoo that I used was what was needed to put into her hair. She needed moisture. She needed some hydration. She needed some milk. 
Okay, but no, she needed moisture, so I used a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. And I'm sitting here editing this video, and I'm just thinking like, oh my gosh, the dryer is up way too high. Always make sure that the dryer is covering all of your client's hair, at least most of it. The way this dryer is sitting on top of my client's hair, that's not how the dryer should be. The dryer needs to be down lower so that it can work into full effect like how it's supposed to. And I also sat her underneath the dryer with a hair mask that would add some more moisture into her hair. Her hair is low in porosity, which means that it's hard for water and moisture and things to get into the hair shaft and penetrate into the hair. So I sat her underneath the dryer with some heat, and then that'll definitely bring that moisture into her hair. All right, so I just finished shampooing her hair, and I'm going to spray Mazzani 25 Miracle Leave-In Spray on her hair. I will attach the link in my bio where you could purchase this. Um, it's really good, and I always spray it on my clients. Now, I also use the Influence coconut leave-in conditioner because that's good if you're lacking protein but right now she's lacking a lot of hydration so I'm going to spray the Mazzani miracle leave-in and then when you're about to blow dry hair especially textured hair it is so much easier to put your hair in sections prior to blow drying the hair why because this will make it easier for you to blow dry evenly all throughout the hair without it being a struggle trying to get through a full head of hair um, this will also make it easier on the client because if you're sectioning the hair you're taking your time if you're working on the whole entire hair at once you can take your time but the hair can still get snagged on your brush which would in result hurt your client so take your time when you're doing the blow dry. The blow dry is the most important step to getting the hair as straight as possible without using a flat iron. So right now you can see me blow drying her hair with a comb attachment on my blow dryer. Um, I do not do this type of blow drying anymore. Now if you're at home, this is the easiest way for you to blow dry your hair at home. The comb helps with detangling while blow drying at the same time. It would be harder for you to hold a brush and a blow dryer at the same time while doing this on yourself at home by yourself. Now in the salon personally, um, this was just taking way too long for me because then I would go over it with a brush to get it even straighter. So I just felt like it was taking so long and then it was adding too much heat onto my client's hair. Now I have a new blow dryer. I just got a Hot Tools blow dryer. It works perfectly fine and it's also not too hot, which is great for my clients. And then I just use a blow drying brush to where it doesn't snag it doesn't have those balls at the top where it gets stuck inside of your hair and you're essentially pulling out your hair it's just straight up at the top I'll attach a link below so you can see what I'm talking about it's I really love it especially for textured hair and it's really good if you can't go out and afford a Denman brush right away you just need an affordable brush that you can use on your textured hair clients so that it can aid in stretching out your client's hair when blow drying. Next, I take the Mazzani 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil. And I put that all over my client's hair. Um, just to seal in that hydration and moisture. It is a light oil. And I'm taking my brush just to stretch that hair and seal that cuticle down. Now, I don't use this brush anymore. I use... A different brush, the brush that I was just talking about, that's going to be linked in the description box below. And I also use a focus nozzle, which came with my Hot Tools blow dryer as well. And so now we are using Bio Silk. 
silk therapy organic coconut oil on her hair it is good for the hair and skin and it will help seal down the cuticle for when we go to press her hair it will give it some shine and some sheen without weighing the hair down so that when i go to press out her hair she can still have some bounce and some flow notice how stiff her hair is and how it's not really moving right now that is because her ends are so dead this is why it is so important to cut your dead ends as quick as possible and as much as possible the longer you keep dead ends within your hair shaft it will continue to split up the hair shaft and up the cuticle Sometimes you go to the salon and get your hair cut and you feel like every time you get your hair trimmed, you wind up with a haircut. Well, that is probably because you have not received a trim in so long. So when you keep dead ends on your hair, it does nothing but continue to create more dead ends within your hair, which would result in more hair being cut off. So to make a long story short, my love, cut the dead ends cut the dead ends please please because then the rest of your hair is going to be dead if you don't just do it now you can cut your dead ends quarterly quarterly is every three to four months that's when you should receive a trim now if you received a trim but you didn't get all of your dead ends cut off you may have to come to the salon more frequently just to ensure that we can take all of the dead ends off as quick as possible and as much as possible. Leaving split ends along your hair shaft will eventually cause it to split even more and so that's why it's very important to make sure that you get as much dead ends cut as possible on your initial visit. So right now I'm going back in with a little bit of that BioSilk Serum just before I go in with um, the last press just to add a little bump to the ends of her hair. And I'm also taking my Kenra Platinum Hot Spray in the number 20. This is a firm heat protectant spray so not only is it going to protect it from heat, it's going to be more durable, blocking humidity, keeping it firm with a lot of body. Notice that ever since I trimmed her hair, her hair is moving the way I would like it to. Um, look at how easy it glides through the flat iron. And as it falls and lands, it has a bounce to it. So that is what your hair is definitely going to do once the dead ends are gone. Because when the dead ends are still attached to your hair, all it wants to do is just grab onto each other and snag. It doesn't really have any movement. Now, as you can see, we are all complete with her look. Um, if she was going to be coming to me regularly, I would definitely continue to wash her with a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner just to get her hair back to its normal moisture protein balance since she's been wearing locks for a few years now. All right, so I know you guys are probably thinking, gross, what is this? So this is the hair that we've combed out of her locks. She is cracking up right now. This is the shedded hair that's been in her locks. Um, so don't think, oh my God, her hair is falling out. Oh my gosh, what happened? No, a lot of times when you have locks in your hair for a long period of time, braids in your hair for a long period of time, or any long period of time where the hair is confined you are bound to have shedded hair you are bound to have hair come out okay so do not think that this is not normal it ranges between everyone hers is on the heavier side because she had locks in for two to three years well this is the final look from locks to a silk press i hope you guys like this video i threw out a lot of valuable information a ton of valuable information in this video so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe leave some comments below like what what is your hair goals i just want to know um let me know if you have locks and you're thinking about combing it out and wanting to know what are the next steps after combing out your locks comment that below and let's just have a discussion thank you guys so much and you guys have a wonderful day